Extra Minutes. Jordan Belford is uh, a stockbroker from the 80s and 90s who made millions of dollars for himself, but alas, not for his clients. In fact, he ended up going to jail for defrauding his investors of more than $100 million. I think everybody's introduction to Jordan Belford probably was through the film, The Wolf of Wall Street. The story you see in the film represents, by and large, the time and what he was doing. Critics would say that it glamorises Jordan Belford. The fact of the matter is that Jordan Belford was a swindler. It was never about all for us and screw the client. It was all about we're going to make the clients a ton of money, we're going to make a ton of money, and the firm's going to make a ton of money. Everyone's going to succeed. But what wasn't one of your mottos, you know, don't hang up until the client either buys or dies? Yes. Well, what's but the it, message but, but, in that? That doesn't mean that the client is not going to make money if he buys. I, I asked Jordan Belford all the questions that I thought were reasonable about you know, where he came from, how did this all begin, how much money did he make, what kind of life did he have at the time. Then when I started to ask about the victims and the repayment to those victims, I felt a shift. And I felt that Jordan Belford was uncomfortable about that. I've said enough about this, let's move on. Uh, let me ask you this no, one let's thing. Move on, that, okay? In, I'm, I'm, honestly, I'm, I'm, ready, I, I'm not going to get attacked here. I, you're here, so I'm done with this. Next. I guess in the end, um, he just got very angry with me. He, he felt I was being unfair. And when I asked him if he was trying to hide money uh, here in Australia, um, he walked out. It, it, well, the last thing is that apparently you have an oral contract with your management, the Fordham Company. Is that an attempt to hide your income? <laughs> Next question. I think the peanut gallery is going to start chiming really quickly. <laughs> We've been audited. I think you can but air what you want here out of this yes, interview. It's done. Oh, why can't, oh why can't I? You got a lot of nerve, boy, I'll tell you. When somebody walks out of an interview, that doesn't necessarily mean that's a good thing. Uh, something's gone wrong. Somebody is not happy, usually. In this case, Jordan Belford was very unhappy, and that was obvious. Honestly, really, t t you know, honestly. Why really, can't I ask these questions? Honestly, and I was told this was a friendly, nice interview, and that's no one has ever treated you as disrespectful as you have, really. All you can do, really, is um, sit for a bit and just see where it goes. But then Jordan Belford returned. And I suspect he probably realised it wasn't a good look. I'm gonna try again, but this time just be neutral. I'm afraid my encounter with Jordan Belford wasn't one where I went away thinking, well, there's a charming man. Um, isn't he full of charisma? I didn't feel that way, no.